in this video I'm going to teach you the simple interest okay so simple interest can work either in say we are talking about investments or maybe you're taking a loan from a bank so what if um, investments or loans are taken under the simple interest the simple interest has a specific formula and the interest is computed as the product of the principal amount the rate so we have the rate of interest or the interest rate and then this is also multiplied to the time this is in like for how many years will be your investment or, or you are going to pay the loan so this formula can be simplified as I for the interest P for the principal amount R for the rate of interest and the time as T so they call it the I equals PRT so let us take for example suppose you're having an investment you are investing an amount of say 44,625 so this is your principal amount and under this investment your money will grow at the rate of say 9% this is the interest rate note that you are investing so you expect your money to grow after a period of time and let's say you want to know how much will be the amount of your money after say five years so this is the time so if the situation or the case is they say is this will grow at a simple interest rate so this is under a simple interest rate then that means the interest the interest will be the P times R times T because it follows a simple interest and using the formula the interest is the principal amount 44,625 multiplied by the interest rate 9% which is 0 0.09 and then the time that is times 5 when we multiply the numbers what we get so you can use a calculator to find the value so you multiply all the three numbers and you will get an interest of 20,081.25 so note this is not just your money 20,081.25 is not just your money this is the interest okay so when you get your money after five years note you invested 44,625 so you get an additional of 20,081.25 for the interest okay so that the amount after five years is the principal amount and the interest that you gain in investing that amount so PRT actually this also can be now generalized as the amount is the principal or say the amount after a, pre a period of time is the principal amount plus P times R times T and when you simplify this you get what is usually written in the textbooks that the amount of your money after some time is P 
and then if you factor out p this p becomes 1 well here you have the RT so that after a period of time your amount can be solved using the formula a equals p times 1 plus RT okay but you don't need to memorize this formula all you need to understand is that your money will grow with an interest of principal times rate times time and that is the money that you will add to the principal amount right because you gain that interest so you add that to how much you invested in say in, in a given investment okay now note that the concept of simple interest can be used for investments and loans so so what's the difference between the two for investment you're putting some money so that you gain after a period of time now for the loan in the case of the loans you are borrowing money so if you're borrowing a money from the bank then the bank will gain something from you because you're you're they're giving you some amount okay that you can use okay so how does that work for the loans again still concept will be applied the interest will remain as p r and t say you went to the bank and then you want to borrow an amount of 50000 and they said well we will put an interest to that at a rate of say 6% now if you just imagine the situation that when you get the 50000 you are not when when you when it's time to pay for the 50,000 it's not just the 50,000 it's like they give you 50,000 you bring or you return 50,000 doesn't work like that okay they have to gain something from 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 you because you are they are giving you some money okay so they have to get gain something from that okay and they put some interest and in this case it says at six percent so if you're getting the loan 50,000 at the rate of six percent and say they will give you you pay us after a period of two years so that means so you have now the 50,000 money but after two years you have to pay so first how much will be added to your 50,000 that you need to pay okay 50,000 so P times R times T and that is the 50,000 times point zero six and then times time which is 2 when you compute this value this is 50,000 times 0 0.06 times 2 and the interest will be 6,000 so you are expected to return an amount of 50,000 that's the principal plus the 6,000 so this is the gain of the bank okay they, they will get well, at the end of two years, okay, 60,000 amount because they lend you 50,000. So all in all, you will be returning 56,000. Okay, but if they ask you what is the interest, the amount that will be added to your loan at the end of two years, 6,000. Okay, so that's how it works for the simple interest in another video I'm going to explain another concept of interest and that is for the compound interest okay and we, I will explain it there so how how do we say that an interest is compound and how it differs to the simple interest okay so again simple interest will work like the you invest some money and then after a period of time your money will grow and this can be computed through finding the interest the amount of interest and then you combine that to the principal amount for the loan so you, you go to the bank you lend some money and then the, the, the bank will give you some money but in return like after some time there must some sor sort of payment for them and that is the interest okay so I hope you understand and you know now how to work with simple interest.